Hi there, Dr. Shelby here at Evolve Chiropractic in Woodstock, ready to show you this amazing exercise. So what I'm going to be showing you is called dead bugs. I absolutely love this exercise. It's really good for core activation and stabilization, which is key when you're having a lot of low back pain because your deep hip flexors or your deep core muscles are intricately intertwined with your low back muscles, such as your QL, and they kind of wrap around your spine. So if you've ever come to our practice or ever heard us talk about diaphragmatic breathing, it's a lot of times trying to activate those deep core muscles, and this is a great exercise to help stabilize those muscles and get them activated a little bit more. So to start off with dead bugs, what you're going to be doing is finding a mat or a surface that you can lay down in and our first step is to always activate our core so when i say activate your core i want you to think about someone going to punch you in the stomach so you're really going to not only be pulling that belly button into your spine but bracing your core like if i came up and i tried to punch you in the stomach you're not going to feel anything so the first thing i do is i brace my core the next step is to tuck my hips up towards the ceiling because if we let our hips just naturally sit you can kind of notice here i'll even pull my shirt you can notice that there's a nice little space underneath that's not a good thing we don't want to start this exercise on a bad note with bad posture so you're going to tuck your hips up towards the sky that's going to allow that low back to rest against the the ground here we're going to brace our core like someone's going to punch us in the stomach and then you're going to bring your arms up at about 90 degrees and your legs or your hips up at 90 degrees keeping your knees bent at 90 degrees okay so if you've ever seen us do like bird dogs this is essentially the opposite of bird dogs working on these deep core muscles so Starting off at the beginner level, what you'll do is you'll keep your arms up straight um, on top of you here, and you're just going to start moving your legs. So the first leg you're going to do is you're just going to stretch it way out. Now we're trying to hover above the ground. You don't want the leg touching the ground. You don't want the leg way up too high. You're just gonna kind of hover above the ground. Now with this exercise, I always say, you're not really thinking about just kicking your leg out. You're thinking about stretching it down, really stretching through your heel keeping your arms up parallel, keeping this other leg as even to neutral as possible. You're gonna hold that for three to five seconds, bring that back up. And again, you always wanna make sure that core is braced and that back is touching the, the ground there. So then we're going to switch, do the opposite leg. Again, holding it for three to five seconds and coming back up. Now, like I said, this was the beginner level, okay? Now, if you find that that is too easy for you or you want to uh, step up the ante there a little bit, same thing, we're gonna start off by touching that low back to the ground by tucking our pelvis upward, bracing our core like someone's gonna punch us in the stomach. Now we're going to do opposite arm, opposite leg. So you're going to stretch out your opposite arm and your opposite leg. Again, keeping the other two as neutral as possible. Holding three to five seconds, coming back up to neutral. And again, switching. Holding three to five seconds and up to neutral. Now, this exercise is meant to go very slow and very controlled. As you're going through this exercise, whenever you come back up to that neutral position there, you always want to check in with what your core and your lower back is doing. Because oftentimes, if you just saw me doing that, I was shaking a little bit and you can start to lose where your core is, that activation, where your low back is. So it's always good to stop and take a second to check in and see where your core is, where your low back is. Try it out and I hope it helps. <laughs>